I want to thank everyone for the effort we have put towards the success of the burial. All glory to God and thanks to you all. This burial has given me the reason to believe that we are still one strong family. Because I know there are a lot of people out there waiting for things to go wrong so they will laugh at us. <laughs> but our good Lord put them all to shame. Exactly. And the good Lord will continue to put the enemies of this family to shame. Amen. Amidst tears, God gave us the reason to rejoice and celebrate once again. It is no longer news that Sister Kate delivered a set of twins, Ejima Mokenabo. And that's more reason she couldn't make it to the burial. Though she and her husband played vital roles towards the success of Papa's burial, may God continue to bless them. Amen. Amen. So Mama, you have to prepare for Mugo. Because it's not easy to nurse a set of twins. Two boys. Ichimamu Kenabo. It's not easy at all. I know Papa will be happy wherever he is now. He will be very, very happy. So, Mama, get prepared. Well, Francis, now that um, the burial is over, you and your wife um, will be returning to the city. And I pray that you'll continue to live in peace like you've always done. Cherish your wife so that she would love you to the end of your life. Of course, Mama, I always love and cherish my wife till death do us part. Brother Francis, you are never tired of adoring a woman you have lived with under one roof for almost three years. Why shouldn't I cherish my soulmate? Mm -hmm. Onye, who is that? Be knocking at the back door instead of the front door. Well, whoever it is knocking at the back door must be very familiar with us. True. Okay, right. please check who's at the door. That's okay, Brad. Hold on now, somebody's going to get the door. Hold on. Are you crying? What happened? Careful. Careful. What happened? Abim. Abim, come now. What's the problem? What is it? Obi. Why are you crying? To die, yo. Daddy, why do you see wrong with us now? What? Yeah? Brother, yeah. you have to go in there and bring out Obiora. Eh? Yeah? What kind of talk is that? Don't even say that two times. Is that? What do you mean in Dada talk? What, 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 what's the meaning of that now? Oh, so you you will not go and bring. Then let me go and bring him. No, 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 no. Mama, it's okay. Let me go and do it. Amazim, you're Mami. the man. Honey, please, please, I'm begging you. Please, don't go. Can't keep don't on go. Honey. I'm still very young. I don't want to be a widow. Honey, I don't want to be a widow. Uh, my brother, no, let me try. No. Oh. I'm very young. Don't That's make fine. me a widow. That's fine. Don't yes. make me a widow. Fine. His brother. Yes. Go and bring him. Yes. Honey, don't make me a widow. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Honey, honey, please. 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 Oh, don't worry. Nah, go. Honey, I'm still very young. Don't make me a widow. I'm not pushing you. Don't Just stop your business. Don't worry. Sure, don't let me don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mama, please. Mama, be Then enter there now. Not that by now, now, honey.
I'm almost there. Oh. Mm. Go in there. Eh? This is going to be very disastrous. So... There's nothing disastrous about you. Wait for me. I do now. Hey. 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 This is a torment. This is a torment. If I would torment, your father is tormenting somebody. But Papa should stop this joke. Hey. What is this now? Hey. 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 Why is Papa making us suffer like this? Hey. But if you ask me, I'll tell you. This is not ordinary. It's hey. not ordinary. So, Mama, what could this be? I don't know. Because the man I married was a happy, young, and loving man. He had so much love for everyone around him, even in the Anota Lanota. So I, I, I don't understand why he's tormenting us at his death. Come on, I want oh to see. see what, what, what. I've always told you you're lazy. Eh? Don't you hear that? Hey! Okay, <laughs> Why are you not dressed for school? <coughs> I understand how close you were to your father. But listen, he's gone and he can never come back. Position to die. Who says right? you're going to you're die? Going to die. Eh? Even no more nine one more my re go on, they know you. They take good time. Like caution. Chip there. Caution. Move on, move on. Wait, are you sure you saw Obiora with your eyes? I saw Obiora. I saw. I, I don't understand. What is going on? Wait, the, 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 the Obiora you saw is he having punk? I don't understand. Do you know Amaka? 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 Because our own Obiora had punk. Look from under. But the touch you touched him is it the usual touch? Okay, let's go. Yeah, what's 
Follow him. Just keep him calm. Follow him. Go. 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 Obiora, he's fine, oh? Yes, he is. Let me go and talk to him. Go, go, we are going wait. Uh-uh, I'm going to go. Let me go first. Honey? Yeah? I'm going to go now. It's okay, I'm fine. Don't go now. What do you mean, don't go? That's younger for that matter. Be careful, oh. I will. Go, I'll be fine. Observe him first. Yes, observe him already now. There's nothing wrong with him. He's fine. Oh, is that five minutes of observation? my brother. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be fine. Cool. Oh, yeah. Go. Go be you. Go be boy. Obi. Oh, Billy, where you go? Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Billy, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Obi near. Obi near. Obi near. Obi, what is it? What is no, going on? Nothing. Uh, are you sure? Did Papa harm you? Of course, Papa cannot harm me. Did, did, he, did he tell you anything? A lot of things. Papa told you a lot of things? Okay. You can talk to me. Eh? Obi, uh, talk to me. What did Papa tell you? Obi, you... He's crying. Obi, talk now. What did Papa tell you? Obi. Obi, Obi, Obi. Obi! Obiara, I want you to open your mouth and tell us exactly what Papa told you. Else I'll compel you to do that now. No, no. Tell us, tell us what Papa told you now. My young, my young. Okay, I'm running, dear Francis. Just calm down. I'm going to pick on that now, very soon. No, no. Obi, no. No. Obi, no. The joy of my womanhood. Hmm? I'm going to pick up my womanhood. Hmm? Who be near? Be gone. Can you tell us what your father said to you? Papa is not happy. <laughs> I know. We don't even need a, a prophet to tell us that he's very angry with us. But we give him a befitting burial. Mm -hmm. And we also fulfill the traditional rites pertaining to a good burial. Yes. We even gave him a Christian burial, which he instructed us to do when he was alive. <laughs> Now, can you please tell us what he said? Yes, he said he needs a roof over his head. A roof? Mm. Well, the house has a roof. He needs a roof over his head? How? Well. Ask Brother Francis. He has an answer to the question. What's the journey? What's the journey? You're going in alone again. He said we should ask you, so please tell us. Show me. Show me what? From where to where? How? There, Obiora. No. Come back, Mama. Get, get, get this boy in I'll down. kill this boy. Calm down. Tell him to talk. Now, calm down. Hmm. This is your baby brother. Just talk to him. If not a beer can want to kill you, talk to him. And I, I can bet you that uh, there's more to this than we all think mm -hmm. there is. Hmm. My own is. Let it not be that Papa is asking my husband to come to the land of the dead to build a house and roof it for him there. You see, you know, eh, 
Sometimes when I get upset with you, or they come out, I like you. What do you want me to say now? What do you mean my husband ask his son to come to the land of the dead? For what now? He's a dead man. Asking him to come and build a house, it means he should come to the land of the dead to build a roof over his head here. Can we just roof over his head? A roof over his head? Over his head. Like he, her, over, over his, his head. head. Mama, hmm. they say we should ask him. Kate called. Mm. She's passing through difficulties. Huh. I think you should prepare for the Omogo tomorrow or next. Omogo? Yes, you know, a couple of things happening in this house. I don't think he's healthy for you. Namban. Eh? How can I be going for Omogo when there's so much going on here? We need to find a solution to the to the, 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 the trials and things going on here. The uh, challenges. I can't just get up and, and, and leave and, and go like that. Mama, I know, I know, but I assure you, I will take care of everything. No harm will come to anybody at all. Trust me, okay? Hey, man, Auntie Kate I... needs help. And you too. And your health is very important to us. Your health matters to us a lot. You know, I listen to you a lot. I'm not going to keep going. Well, well. <laughs> So what you have heard you? I will start uh, preparations for Mungo. Okay, good, Mama, good. And one more thing. What? Please do not let Auntie Kate to know what happened. Uh, I don't want her to worry herself. Mama. And you two do not bother about anything. I'll handle every situation. Uh, there was no way I would uh, disturb uh, Kate. Man, now it's come not to bother her. Don't bother, Bothering please. Bothering is part of life. Man, I bother. No, I'm born. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I just wanna bow you now, honey. Yep. Please, I would want you to take it easy with Obiara if you must get to the root of this. If you take a close look at that boy, you would realize that he has changed completely after yesterday's encounter. I don't care if he has changed or not. Once he's back from school. He's going to tell me everything he discussed with Papa. Using force on him will never help in this matter. You have to apply discretion to this. All right? Is Mama gone? Yes. She forgot the oil she wanted to travel with. Mm -hmm. oh. Mama is so happy she's going for Mugo. So if she forgets anything, please don't blame her. Um, is Obiara back from school? Mm -mm. Okay. Obiara, you've been acting strange nowadays. What is wrong? I don't understand. What I mean is that you don't talk to anyone again. You don't even talk to me, Amaka. You don't talk to me. Like, you are more to yourself. I am fine. No, you're not fine. You're not fine, and you have to tell me what's wrong. I, I said, said I, I am fine! fine. Ah! 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 Why is she running? What did I do? Why is she running? Honey, how is your food? You have to eat something while you wait for him. I'm not hungry at all. You're not serious, are you? Honey, you've not had anything to eat all day. Do you want to starve yourself to death because of nothing? Baby, the mystery behind Papa's appearance is enough for me not to have appetite for anything. I am not going to rest until I resolve this issue. Before I come out, please, I want to see that you've had your food. Good afternoon, Brother Francis. Hey, 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 come here. Stand there. Now I want you to tell me everything you discussed with Papa the day he appeared to us. I have told you before. He says he needs shelter over his head. How? How? 
How, MJ? How? You know, that is what he said. Hey, hey, hey. No more step from that point. Eh? You carry him, I carry you here. I will just fuck the hell out of you. Come on, come on, come on, stand back. I am, I am only, only being patient, patient with, you with you because, because you're, you're my, my first, first son. son. But if you do not do the need to as soon as possible. This song is evil. A lot has changed about my cousin, Ibrahim. Oh, Who is shouting at me? I'm sure. Ah. I saw the face of late Uncle Joseph on his face. What's going on? I've not seen this kind of thing at all in my life. This whole thing is getting out of hands. Something needs to be done urgently. Okay, like what? Like seeking a spiritual help. Look at everything happening in this house. I suspect your father was a member of a secret cult before he died. How dare you say such a thing about my father? Are you not? Or what? Listen, for the records, my father was a devoted Christian when he was alive. The regional secretary of the men's forum in our church. He was a deacon and a prayer coordinator. So, my father was never a cultist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that if you take a closer look at everything happening, you may want to believe me. Obiara, what is this? I can't do to you just for what happened. It wasn't intentional. I nearly died. I was unconscious. What is happening to you, Obiara? I don't know. I feel this strange force within me. It tells me something that happened even when I was not there. And it's making me do what I could not do on my own. 
this is strange. Have you told a about it? Why? Forget about him! I am happy that my brother's burial was successful. <laughs> yes, Uncle, it was a huge one. Mm. And uh, it, uh, it's, it was successful anyway, mm -hmm. yes. But there is a problem. What kind of problem? Papa appeared to us a day after his burial. How? Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, so what did he say? Uncle, do you expect us to stay there and wait for whatever he has to say? We were engulfed with fear and we all ran away. Ah, ah. Francis, you in particular shouldn't have run with others. Uncle Asigini. Yes! What? Yes! <laughs> his appearance shows that something was not done right either when he was alive or done in his burial. Eh? So he came back to tell you what you must do to appease his spirit. Yes! <laughs> eh? Someone just screamed. I heard the same. I think that's my wife's voice. I hope you just made us sound like that. What is she talking about? What is she pointing at? Since after my father's death, we, on a daily basis, we normally see footprints walking around the grave. I see. Uh, Francis, the spirit of your father is still with him. His soul is very much in this compound. And if nothing is done quickly, he may begin to strike. Mm. Uncle, I am confused. Mm. My father was a nice man before he died. Even before he died, he never complained of any wrongdoing from any of us. Well, maybe when he was alive, he could not see the wrong deeds in his family. Now that he's dead, everything, both the one done in secret, are now open to him. So, Uncle, what do we do now? As a matter of urgency, you have to find out why he's not happy and pacify him immediately. Honey. Yeah, babe. I'll be going back to the city tomorrow because of my job. I know, but you have to wait for me, so we'll go together on Saturday. Honey, I don't think I can wait till Saturday. We've been in this village for about how many days now? And it's affecting my job. You know it's a new business. It needs my attention to grow. So I need to get back. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so I don't know if you can help me call a taxi from the city to pick me tomorrow. There will be no need for that. Just go with the car. I'll find my way home. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama, I am fine though. How are you? Hey, Mama Obiora is fine. Brother Francis is fine. She's fine. She's fine. No, they have not traveled. Mama, everybody is fine. <laughs> Mama, you are enjoying, you know, you're enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Mama is um, I is Auntie Kate and the husband. The baby, how are they doing? Ah, <laughs> send my regards to them. Tell them I will come and visit them soon. Take good care of yourself. <laughs> bye bye, God. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah, try. Mama. 
We did not end our discussion yesterday. Yes, you're right. I had wanted us to go and see the chief priest. But after seeing Obiora, I took knowledge that the answers to the question we seek lies within. Uncle, what do you mean? Ask Obiora. He knows exactly what your father wants. Uncle, I asked him, and he said my father said he needs a roof over his head. And then we have a way out. If that is what your father wants, simple. Uncle, I, I don't understand. All your father wants is for his grief to be tiled, beautified and covered. Very simple. Then I'll do it. It's very simple. What are we saying? He's a restless soul. He's a restless soul. This is strange. It's unbelievable. Is that even possible? My sister, it's possible. I am not telling you what somebody else told me. I am telling you what I saw with my two eyes. That means the man was an occultic man when he was alive. Exactly. Huh? Exactly what I told my husband, but he didn't believe me. Of course, he wouldn't believe you because we are talking about his father here. The worst part of it all is I am so scared of sleeping in this house alone. You can come over to my house until your husband comes back. Aha, I'm Nedu. Hmm? This is the grave here. Hmm? I want you to raise um, some blocks around it and uh, make it beautiful. Pile it. Okay. You know how your work is supposed to be. Okay. We will lay block like this. We will put beautiful ties. Then we will put a cross. It's your work. So yeah. do it well. Tile it and um, make it beautiful. Okay. Mm. So how much are you going to take to do that? $30,000 will be enough. What is 30000 naira? This is too much now. Am I building a bungalow? Eh? Talk to me. How much are you going to use to do this? I'll say 30000 naira. Tell me how much you're going to use to do this, please. Hey! Jesus Christ! What? Eh? Move on, move! Move on, put it! At the of the day! No, I can't do this. We are not here for this. Please, come and make sure this is not now. Come on, come to me. No! Papa! Papa! I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand this rubbish show. Eh? You said that you raised the roof over your head. And this is what I'm trying to do. Are you doing this? What is this now? Allow me now. Eh? What kind of What you wanted to do is to know what Papa wants. What? I don't understand. Papa wants me to raise a roof over his head. And that is what I'm about to do. Could the mother be here? Uh, hey! I am not the one. I'm the second. Don't leave me, mother. Don't leave me, mother. Hey! Come here. Why are you too, why are you what is the problem? Why are you running like this? Hey. Hey. What happened? Wonders. You see wonders? They say that wonders shall never end. Hey. Amen. What happened? I went to Late Mazi Joseph's house uh -huh. to lay tires on the grave. You will not believe what I saw. What did you see? I went there. I was discussing with his first son. He told me what he wants. And I went there to, to know exactly how to do what he asked me to do. Mm -hmm. You will not believe what happened. Get no man, no. Footprint. Marching around. 
was coming close to me. Marching around. Ah! This is nasty, Biko. Can't care footprints. Well, is that ever possible? I'm telling you what I saw 10 minutes ago. <laughs> eh? Yes, I saw it with my pocket. The eye. Pah, they were serious. Pah, pah, pah. You will not believe it. That means that man was an occult man when he was alive. Oh, you know, yeah. Exactly. Hi! Hi! You are right. Occult man. Man, uh, hi to God then. Eh? Uno bro, fee. Eh? So this noise thing that he said now, that he made me throw in my clothes, that was taken to the teller. If you say one more word, I will bless you. I am here. Did you? You are talking about the night clothes. I left my full equipment. I left it in the house. You are talking about the night clothes. Uh, but where did you throw the clothes? Oh my God, what is this? Yeah? Why is Papa stressing me like this? Why is that stress, stressing my life like this? Yeah? You said you need a roof over your head, and that's what I'm about to do. What I just told you is exactly what he wants. Yura, this is confusing. Even you can attest to it. Please, help me and ask Papa exactly what he wants. A roof over his head is exactly what he wants. And that is what I'm about to do! That is not what you're about to do. Oh, God. <sighs> this is confusing. You just, please ask Papa what he wants. Ask him what he wants. Please! Join your heart, Ask you a question. Because the way God do not do not be offended. No, no problem. Go ahead. Mm. Clara, how did your father die? I mean, what killed him? What kind of question is that? Hmm. The news is in the village that your father was an occult man when he was alive. Oh, his uncle. Who is spreading such news? Esther. You knew my father very well when he was alive. So no need discussing this with you. And we all know your father. Yes, I know him very well. I know him when he was alive. But why those footprints always walk on his grave? Eh? Why not one? And you know very well that it's only men who belongs to a secret cult. That strange things like that happens where they are buried. Eh? I have important things to do at home. Clara, what's important things? She could not even defend her father. Your father. That means there is atom of truth in the news making around the village. Yay! So, message yourself on an court. Okay. Who do it? Important things. Brother, you don't look happy. 
What is it? Papa. Papa is stressing my life. Papa is just making my life miserable. My dear sister, Papa said he wants a roof over his head. Then I called a dude tiler to come and raise the block around Papa's grave and tile it to make it look beautiful. Have I done wrong? So it is Nedu that is spreading such news. What news? What happened when Nedu came? Nothing happened, not just that he saw footprints walking around the grave. In fear, he ran away. And he didn't end there. Obiora came out and told me that Papa said that what I was doing wasn't what he wanted. I'm, I'm, I'm tired though. Did he say exactly what he wanted? No, he did not. I'm tired. I heard you said about uh, news spreading around the village. What news? The news spreading around the village is that Papa was an occultic man when he was alive. And I believe it's that stupid Nedu that is spreading such news. After seeing the footprint. What? Yes. Are you sure of what you're saying? But I cannot lie now. That's es Esther. She just told me now. Clara, are you sure? I'm very sure, brother. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know what to do to him. I'm very, very angry with that. Someone is here to see you. Okay, let the person in. Hi, Evelyn. Oh, please. Please sit. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So, how is your husband? He's fine. Um, please, I want you to tell him to meet me at the club today. I have a business proposal for you. Uh, that won't be possible because he's still in the village. What? How? Wait, he's still in the village after the burial of his father. Chris, I would rather you hear directly from your friend, Colin. Okay, I, I will. I'll call him. So how have you been now? Good. And you, you look good. Thank you. So what do I offer you? Uh, I have just soft. I know you like it hard. Okay, oh, just just give me soft. I'll be fine. Okay. Hey, Bere. Huh? Ma, please get me anything soft. Okay, ma. Ah, with a glass cup. I know you. Okay. Ma. Yeah, your workers. Mm. I know how she can be. <laughs> yeah, your workers. Papa, you look good. It's Thank been a you. While. How could you say despicable things about my father? Huh? You knew my father when he was alive. Yes. Does he look like someone who belongs to a secret cult? No, 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 no. He's he, no. Shut up! I'm still talking. I don't know how many people must have told that my father was a bad man when he was alive. I wanted to go back to the same people and tell them that all you said are lies. I want you to do that. Else, I will lock you up in the police cell and you're going to spend the whole year in there. But I 
I did not think. Hey, 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 hey. I give you two days. Two days to do so. Mind you, I'll be listening. Two days. But. I did not tell, tell anyone that, that your father was alone. I don't see the only problem that your body and your mouth. Why is it that I cannot keep on very secret? But then it... Let's start. I will let you. Rose. Yes? I want to ask you a very serious question. And I want you to be very honest and sincere with me. If I have answers to your questions, trust me, I will. What is Francis still doing in the village? It's better you get your answers from him directly. That was exactly what the wife said. Huh? What is going on? Chris, I'm sorry. I can't continue having this discussion with you. If you have any other thing to ask me, please do. When are you going back to the city? Any moment from now. Could be tomorrow or by weekend. What about the roof over Papa's head that he talked about? Oh, I'm tired of listening to that rubbish. Eh? He's my father. If he wants me to do anything, he should come out and tell me. You are right. But please, before you go back to the city, try and see Uncle Lima. Of course, I will do that. I will do that before I go back. Let me get something out there. I'll, I'll be back soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. By then, I'll be done with the cooking. Okay. Bye. want to destroy my life in this village? Why did you go everywhere telling everybody that late uh, Chief Joseph w w was an narcotic man when he was alive? How? I don't understand. I, I wait. I'll make you understand. I did not discuss what happened in Chief Joseph's house with anybody. You are the only one I gave that critical information. And why is the critical information now critical into other people's ear? Believe me, I did not tell anybody. Maybe you must have told one or two persons who could not keep their mouth shut. Moreover, I know the originator. <laughs> I am the originator. I am the gospel, the gospel itself. I am the originator of the news. And I am the preacher. Why are you not preaching more than me that owns the preaching? Eh? Listen, be very careful. You are the only one that I told this thing. Now the whole village is about it. Stop it. I beg you. But let me ask you, why are you, you know, let me make a sieve? Why are you acting as if you are scared? Is the man after your life or what? It is not about the man. His son, Francis, threatened me. That if if any new year he is about his father's situation, if upcoming year, if virgin year he is about the father being an occultic man when he was alive, he said that he will remove my head from my neck, and it's not only me; he will kill whosoever. Whosoever that is in the line will join the chorus. And look at me. I am about to pick. 
I don't want to die now. Be very careful. I'm about to pay. Don't, don't, don't. don't. Not Francis father that was buried last week. <laughs> oh, does he have a twin brother? Oh, I see. I see. They really look alike. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. I am greeting you, sir. Good afternoon. I, I can see a steam on your twin brother. Sir, please, you need to be strong. Okay? He's long gone and buried. What we owe ourselves as the living is move on with our lives. Please, sir, accept my sympathy. Okay? Outside. Yeah, the car. Yeah, it's me. Um, my name is Chris, and I am Francis' good friend. Yeah, you came for my father's burial. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, please come inside. No, 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 no. I prefer to stay outside, huh? Yes. Okay. Um, let's go under the tree. Okay. Something is wrong with Obiora. He has changed completely. Yes, I noticed that too. But whatever that is wrong with him is what I can't explain. Uncle, his problem is spiritual. And you need to seek the help of a pastor to help him. My dear, I'm not just cut out for this now, okay? But anyway, thank you for your concern, yeah? I'll see you later. Okay? Take care. He's a restless soul. Restless soul. He's a restless soul. He's roaming all around, making demands. Oh yeah. He's a restless soul. He's a restless soul. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm good. Mm. I didn't tell me you were coming. Oh, I'm sorry. But it is necessary, huh? It's okay. You need to it's talk. Okay. You're welcome, man. Um, just give me a few minutes, okay? Right. Clara, can I see you?
What were you discussing with him that you're laughing sheepishly? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't even pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. What are you, what are you talking about? What were you discussing with him? Brother, seriously, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, now listen. Let me break it down to you so you understand where I'm coming from. Okay. Eh? You see, Chris, eh? yes. he's my very good friend. I know him more than you. I know him in and out. Okay? He's not good for you. He is not good for you at all. So disregard whatever he must have told you. Do you understand? No. He didn't say anything to me. Better. Better. Because I don't want you to have anything to do with him. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Not really. I have never seen such a thing in my life. My brother, I'm so sorry for that sight you just behold. Hmm? You know, what you saw earlier today is what is still keeping me in this village. How? I, I don't understand. Okay. Listen, let me tell you something. My father appeared to us after his burial and we all ran away leaving my younger brother inside the house. Later on, he came out and started behaving strange. Everybody was surprised. And he said that Papa said that he needs a roof over his head. Ah. I was like, what's this? Then I planned to raise a block around his grave, then tile it, you know, to make it beautiful. Yeah. He came out again and said that that wasn't Papa wasn't what Papa needs. So I am so confused. Wait, I, I think what your father wants is very simple. What? I think he wants you to build him a house here in this village. I don't think so because there's nothing wrong with this house. Anyway, I... I bought a land somewhere where I intend to build a beautiful structure. That would be after I must have finished building a house for my mother-in-law in their place. I, I, I don't really know what to say again, bro. I am confused. There's, there's but I will tell you one thing. Uh -huh. Try and pacify that old man before it escalates to something that you can no longer handle. But, 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 uh, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay, okay, I, it's okay. I understand. So, why are you here? Um, I came because there is this job um, connection that I brought for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a white man. Okay. And he wants to see you in person. So when are we meeting him? Um, tomorrow. Because he said something about traveling back to Germany. Mm. You know, so he wants to go once he has um, a business partner here in Nigeria. Beautiful. We meet him tomorrow then. Okay, fine. Oh, brother, mm -hmm. I am not comfortable with you going back to the city without doing what Papa asked you to do. Clara, I have a business to catch up with. I'm going back to the city to negotiate with the business. Okay, when I'm done, I'm coming back to the village to start from where I stopped. Okay? After all, Papa has not said anything to me. Okay? You take care of yourself, I'll be back before you know it. Bye. Yeah. Okay, not you. Okay. Thank you. You can, you can go inside. Mm -hmm. uh, bye bye. Just go inside and lock the, okay. lock the gate. Clara, lock the gate.
Grace, I saw what you were doing with my sister back there in the compound. Eh? Now it's between me and you. Listen, let me tell you something. Stay away from my sister. I don't like what you're doing with her. I don't want you to spoil her for me. She means the whole world to me. Please. You know, sometimes you act like a child. Huh? I don't, I don't mean to insult you, but sometimes you act so childish. I want to ask you, are you going to marry your sister? It's none of your business if I marry my sister or not. Stay away from her. I won't tell you that again. Okay, no problem. I came to inform you that your time starts now. Papa, 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 why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why don't you just give me audience, Papa? I'm tired of this. I am tired of this. What is going on? Clara, why did you allow Brother Francis to return back to the city? Obi, I tried everything within my powers to stop him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Then, then your trial is not enough! enough! Did you just raise your voice at me? I, I won't even raise, raise my, my voice, voice. Higher, 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 higher. higher. You are I just a mistake! How dare you talk to me, such a
Honey, what is it? You look moody. Hmm? My father is driving me crazy. What happened? He was here a moment ago. He, he, he could not just say what he wants. Honey, I think it's high time you seek spiritual help. Spiritual help? From where? From a spiritual man of God. Or a native doctor. Honey, you know I'm not used to all these uh, native doctors and um, I mean, they can't just offer anything. It's not my thing. <laughs> what are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why have you chosen me for destruction? This is not who I used to be. <laughs> I used to be innocent and harmless. <laughs> Papa, for suddenly I have turned into a monster, tormenting my own brother and sister. Papa, please go out of me. <laughs> the weight is too much of me. <laughs> Consciously, so I should be asking you what happened. Where is Obiora? I don't know where he, where he is. When I came in, I didn't see Obiora. I was with him, and we had a kind of argument. That was the last I can remember.
so mentally Oh, Baba Hey, I will do anything just to make you happy Only rest in peace, yo Tell me what you want Honey? Honey Okay, should I go on or wait for you to join me later? Go ahead, I'll join you What is wrong with this woman? Honey? Honey? Yes, baby. Baby. Honey, I need to ask you to get me a, an empty plate. I said fruit. Wait. You have downloaded it already. How? <laughs> You brought an empty plate. No. There were fruits in the plate when I dropped it here. Where are they? Thank you for saving my life. If not you, I would have been dead. Oh, thanks to God. But the question now is, where is Obiora? I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with Obiora nowadays. He's acting strange. Auntie, please, try your best to avoid him. At least for now. I promised to call, but you didn't. Oh, I am so sorry. I've been very, very busy lately. You were busy and you forgot to call me? My apologies, okay? Accepted. Okay. Um, so, Clara, when are you going to come visit me in the city? Um, anytime you want me to come. Okay, why don't you just come around this weekend then? Yes, I can. Okay, okay, see you then then. Thank you. You have to resist this force. Else, it will make you do things you will forever regret. I am trying. Do you think the things I do is out of my own violation? That is why you need to try harder. Listen, the devil is out there trying to destroy you. And you must say no. Maka, I'm trying. Just that. 
When the force takes hold of me, my rule will be lost in theirs. I think you need help. Of course I need help. But the question is, who is going to help me? I know. I know who will help you. You know? You know who will help me? change this topic. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. The business you're going for tomorrow, how do you intend to handle it? Hmm. I can't say it till I get there tomorrow. Okay. I wish you good luck. Thanks, darling. Mm. Thank you. Have you seen this movie before? No. Is it the one we are waiting for? Ah, yes, it's the one. Where could you make such a mistake? Because Nedu is a messy man, not a herbalist. Relax. I know he can solve your problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, sorry for keeping you waiting. No problem. Good evening. Good evening. And how can I help you? I have a problem. A very big problem. Yes. Sometimes, I see myself do strange things. Sometimes I see myself leave my body to a distant place where I have never been before. The most painful part is, anytime I see my brother Francis, I have this hatred for him. Eh, uh, apart from being a messy man, that is, then I plaster on building house. I also learned the art of Combining one half with another half to heal some kind of little, little sicknesses. I do not have the building, the capacity, the talent to heal people from Obanje. Uh, 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 but but I, do, I, I thought your herbs can turn in, into a normal person. Uh, uh, my herb. There's no amount of herb I'll give to him that will make him normal. Even if I allow him to enter bush like Nebuchadnezzar, if he finish all the herbs in the bush, he will never be normal. And I think from what he said, his problem is older than him. The problem is spiritual. And I am not meant to be spiritual for him. Are you sure you are, you are the one talking? The spirit talking to you is older than you. Don't call me. This is an embarrassment. Um, Obiora, please, forgive him. Uh, please, forgive him. Obiora, please. 
I'm, I'm sorry, please, so forgive me, please. What's wrong have I done to my father to deserve this kind of embarrassment? I loved him when he was alive. I took care of him. I gave him all he needed. Even when he was sick, I took him to the best hospital to make sure he survived it. You were there when he was sick and was about to die. He took my hand and blessed me and said, you're the kind of son every man should be proud of. So why all this? Honey, you don't have to recount on all of that now. I know how much you loved your father and how close you were with him. I also know how much he loved you. He held you at high esteem when he was alive. So I want you not to talk about this. Then why this why this punishment? Why 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 this torture? Why? It's okay. I don't want us to talk about this now. Come inside and prepare for your meeting. I'm tired of all this. I'm just tired of all this. It's okay. He's a restless soul. He's a restless soul. He's roaming all around. Back in the man. Hello? Hello? Hello, Chris, can you hear me? Chris, what's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm already on my way. I'll soon be there. Exactly, I'll be with you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. Have I not been a good to you? Have I not been an obedient child all the way? Have you asked me of anything that I denied you? Have I not been a faithful son all the way? What more can I come Why are you only talking? This is serious. It's unbelievable. I've not heard of such thing in all my life. Do you know the funniest part of it? He's always relaxed in the compound, sleeping and snoring. <laughs> this is not a funny matter, Rose. It's not funny. I'm so sorry about that. There is a man I will advise you to tell him to go and meet. Who could that be? That man is a strong native doctor. Ha! Come out from there. My husband is the last person that will go to the house of a native doctor. Never. It's against his belief. He won't even try it. So, how is he going to handle this problem?
There is no doubt that his father initiated him into a secret group. That is what it is. But why are people so wicked? How can he initiate that innocent boy into a secret court? And who would even believe? Who would even believe that that man that is always like this, wearing long, is an autistic man? Fugu, that is the problem I have with all these people. And then they call him Maria. And now for for to money mask, I ban the money mask. If you go. They claim over righteousness. Eh? Man. Mazi Joseph. He was a dedicated member of his church when he was alive. Give me misery. This world is going to turn back. What will I do? What will I do? Another thing. You know what? I will leave this world. I want to enter the next world. You can stay in this world and enjoy with holy in our cultic life. Next world over. Yes, I'm making this useless, useless, helpless one. Let's go! Hey, 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 My car broke down along the road. Uh, have you tried fixing it? Yes, I have, but I can't uh, figure out any fault. Uh, this is bad luck. Uh, the white man will soon be at the venue. Okay, why don't you just leave the car there and look for a taxi and come down here and later we'll go back and fix it. No, I can't leave my car here. No, I can't, I can't do that. Here, this place is too lonely for me and I've not been here before. And there are some, some guys roaming about, you know, so I don't trust them. Anyway, I'll keep trying until I get it. Guy, this is a lifetime opportunity. You can't lose this, man. Hello? What kind of problem is this? This car was perfectly okay before I left the house. What's going on? Quiet. I'm sorry to say this, but your husband is somehow stubborn. My sister, if it is that one, he has A class in it. He believes everything he does is right. But that's not the best way to life. Who is that?
What do we do? What do we do? I think you should call your husband to tell you that his father is here. He's not picking. Call him again. Call him. I think something is wrong somewhere. No, 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 no. I think he's in a meeting. Meeting? Yeah, he's in a meeting. Do it too. No. How will you feel standing helplessly on this lonely road from morning till night? I, I, I feel hot and frustrated. That is how I feel as I lay outside the sun and rain each day that passes by, while an idiot somewhere is enjoying the shade provided by my blood. I, 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 I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean? I cease to be your father from the day you choose to humiliate me. I cease to be your father from the day you choose to lose your sense of reasoning. Papa, I don't understand. What exactly do you want? Tell me I will do it. Can I, can, can, I, can I take this call and, and, and tell him that I can make it to the meeting? No. But why, why are you frustrating me? You started it. How? My problem with you is that you don't listen to the voice of reasoning. You don't think voraciously. I, 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 I accept. But please, can I, can I just speak this call? You want to frustrate me? No way! I want you to feel the true meaning of frustration. Um, Evelyn. Evelyn, I've been trying to reach your husband, but he's not picking my calls. Same here. I've been trying to call him, he's not picking my calls. I thought you both were in a meeting. He's here to arrive at the meeting venue. What? It's more than one hour since he left the house. What? 
Okay, you know what? Um, let me go see the white man briefly, huh? When I'm done with him, I'll come straight to the house and come see you guys. Okay? What did he say? He said my husband is yet to arrive at the meeting venue. What? Hey. I mean how? How could he be? You are, you are in your room. What, what's the problem? Why are you, why are you lying down on the, in the middle of the road? I said, you are in your room. Are you, are, have, you, have you lost your senses? I don't like it. People I am looking for are finding <laughs> in one place. Okay. What? We did not do anything wrong to you now. We did not do anything wrong to you. Okay. On the contrary, you did everything wrong to me. What do you mean? Why do you go about tearing people down? My father was an occult man when he was alive. And you also told them that my father initiated this stupid call. Why? Okay, uh, 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 I, I swear I am sorry. Uh, I swear. That I will never say anything bad about your father ever again. <laughs> Promise. Please. Better for both of you. Because if this repeats itself again, you won't be alive to tell the story. Hey, hey, hey. You will never hear it again. It's so cool. I swear. If you hear it again, know that I'm not the one that said it. We are not the one that said it. Yes, yes. I'm so sorry. We will not do it again. Please, please, please. Who be around one man? Hi. Who be around one We will not say anything against him again. We promise. We promise. We promise. If we say it again, if we say it again, then know that I'm not the one that said it. Know that I'm not the one that said it. Thank you, sir. Evelyn, your husband Francis messed up big time today. Huh? My worry is he has not been taking his calls all day. Why we throw blames on him? We should also consider if everything is all good with him. I think Rose is making a point. Well, I, I don't want to conclude yet. Until I see him, I think I have to go. Yes, take care. Thank you for coming. If I get in touch with you, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay, Papa, I've, I've, I've missed this business opportunity. Can I at least go home now? Can I? Of course, nothing is wrong with your car. Nothing is wrong with my car. So, so, so you you're the one behind all this. From today onward, you will no longer sleep under the roof of your house until you put a roof over my head. Oh, Papa, this is fun. How is that possible? You will be sleeping outside your room, probably in your compound. You will know how serious I am if you dare sleep under the roof of any kind.
you know I, I admire Chris a lot. Okay, now there is nothing to talk about him. Nothing. I like him. Can you help me talk to him? Nope. I can't. All right, I can help you set up a meeting with him. Then you tell him yourself exactly how you feel about him. How about that? I don't have any problem with that. So when? Mm -hmm. Soon. But the meeting will have to be here. There's no problem. I'm okay. day of my life. How do you mean? Papa. Papa is out to frustrate my life. Papa wants to destroy my life. So your father is whisking. What has he done again? Just on my way to the business meeting. Your weekend going? Mm, nothing much. I will wash my clothes and relax at home. Oh, really? Okay. Um, do you mind coming to the city to spend the weekend with me? Mm, why not? I'll be glad to spend the weekend with you. Okay. Okay. You know what? Um, I will just come to the village and pick you there. Huh? All right. Bye for now. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I take care. You have to do something. You have to do something. You cannot continue like this. Hmm? I don't know what is going on. Papa wants to destroy my life, and I can't take my mind off this. The whole thing is frustrating me. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want us to talk about Papa right now. I want you to come in and relax. Huh? Come in. My dear, the torture is too much. You can just take this off my mind. Papa is, Papa is, Papa is driving me crazy. I said it's okay. It's okay. Alright? So, about the business, what becomes of it? Chris called and said that the white man left angrily. Hi. He said that he's going to look for another person to do the job. Eh? Yes. No, 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 no. no. You have to call Chris. <laughs> Tell him to beg them, please. They may change their mind. It's not possible. You know how these people behave. Eh? You know how they behave. Once they give you a job to do and it didn't meet up to the standard, they will call another person to do the job. Hi. And they will take you to be unserious. And that is how they see me now. Hi. I said it. The father is whiskey. Oh, God. Oh, 
I don't like this. You guys are embarrassing me. Please, stand up so we talk about this. Please. We are comfortable on the floor. Please, just allow us to have this discussion. Please, mm. please. Be 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 okay. What is it? And your brother is cleaning us by the day. Mm. He has turned us into the shadow of our sins. Yes. And if nothing is done to stop him, yes. we will die soon. And suddenly, that was after the warning. He warned us. And after the warning, he opened up different sides of evil spirit to be visiting our life. Every day, different sides, fat one, slim one, and like my one. They are coming to our life. And since then, there's no peace. There's no peace. Do, do you know that sometimes when I sleep, I will see my late grandma will be eating, rejoicing. Now good. But she will tell me that one day that I will soon join her. Please. Speak on. I cannot understand anything from all you have said. Hey! Uh, hey, madam. Uh, uh, your brother Obiora. He is the one that opened the gate for the evil spirit to be tormenting our life. Mm. Okay. He vowed that we will not have peace. Please, he is tormenting us. Please help us and beg him to oh, stop. Oh, it is all about Obiora. Uh, yes. See, let me tell you. Hey! If you have a problem with Obiora, Go and settle with him. Do not involve me, please. Did you hear me? Hey! Yes, ma. Do not involve me. Be gone. Be Why, Oma? Me better. Be gone. Hey! Hey! Hey, whoa! Please, oh! Please! Hey! Help us beg him! Hey! 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 Hey, whoa! Hey! What are you doing? To sleep with my husband, of course. Babe, see, this is my cross. Allow me to carry it alone. Please. Baby, it's a family cross. This is your trying time and I will be by your side through it all. Hey, listen, listen, the cold out here is going to march in the middle of the night. And I don't want you to get pneumonia. Please just go inside. Don't worry. With you by my side, I'll be warm all through the night. Oh, God. Babe, just, just listen to me. Go inside and, and sleep. Sleep. Just sleep. Oh. Because I wanted to surprise you. Hmm. What if I had gone out? I will stay here and wait for you to come back. <laughs> you win. Please let's go inside. No, 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 no. Let's go and stay under the shade, okay? Okay. I'll just for you. <laughs> I want to go to the city with Chris. I'll be back on Monday, okay? Okay. I 
I believe you can take good care of yourself while I'm out. I can take good care of myself, but think so. One more thing, please. What is that? Brother Francis must not know I went to the city with Chris. Okay. That reminds me, were you able to discuss with Chris as I requested? Oh my goodness, do you know I forgot? Now what for you? Why will you forget a thing like this? Sorry. You know what? What? Let me call you. Hello, Chris. How are you today? I, I am fine. And you? I'm okay. Um, can I see you at home later today? I hope all is well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All is well. Okay. Um, I'll come around later today. All right. Thank you. All right. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, later. What did he say? He said he'll be here later this evening. So when he comes, I'll leave it in your hands to finish it up. Don't worry, I know what to do once he comes. man on earth. Ever since I set my eyes on you that very day, everything about me just changed. Shimo! Clara! Clara! Hey, Chenikudi, you left the village to the city, Ibetan Bongo, without my knowledge. Yeah? See, um, Francis, please, I can explain. Hey, I can explain. Hey, 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 hey. I don't have anything to say to you now. Do you understand? Just shut up. And you, get up from that place now and follow me. Are you still sitting there? You the mad? What? What? See, Francis, um, this is unfair. Hey. Huh? She's no longer a child. I don't want to talk to you. I know where to see you. You know, I thought you to put the one in my okay? Okay? I'll see you. You're very stupid and useless. Huh? So this is it. So this is it. 
I don't know. I'm coming. I am very disappointed. If not for one thing, eh, I would have beaten you blue and black. Stupid. I'm ah. giving you a dirty slap. Honey, please, let's talk. I'm not done with you. Honey, that was harsh. You shouldn't talk to her like that in the presence of my visitor. Do you know what she did? Whatever she did. You've brought her home already. The best you can do is take her inside and caution her. I understand, but she overstepped her bounds. Okay. So what did she do? Okay. Imagine Clara. Clara left the village to the city to come see my friend without telling me that she's coming to the city. Is it good? Honey, is that why you're this upset? Yes. Come on. She's grown up. She can tango. Besides, you're not going to marry your sister, are you? You are too overprotective. It's not cool. Calm down. You're very stupid and useless. Huh? So this is it. So this is it. What is that? I don't know. I'm coming. I am very disappointed. If not for one thing, eh, I would have beaten you blue and black. Stupid. I'm ah. giving you a dirty slap. Honey, please, let's talk. I'm not done with you. Honey, that was harsh. You shouldn't talk to her like that in the presence of my visitor. Do you know what she did? Whatever she did. You've brought her home already. The best you can do is take her inside and caution her. I understand, but she overstepped her bounds. Okay, so what did she do? Okay, imagine Clara. Clara left the village to the city to come see my friend without telling me that she's coming to the city. Is it good? Honey, is that why you're this upset? Yes! Come on, she's grown up. She can tango. Besides, you're not going to marry your sister, are you? You are too overprotective. It's not cool. Calm down. Tell me more about yourself. I don't have that luxury of time right now. Okay? And what in God's name are you doing here? Just try and calm down, okay? Come down, let me explain all of this to you. Do not explain any nonsense to me. Chris, 
Who doesn't know you? Eh? What do you want? You want to explain to me? Hey, Chris, you can tell that to a stranger that doesn't know you. I know you too well. You're not good with women. But I'm a changed person now. I've changed. No, that's not true. When it comes to women, you can never change. You can never love any girl. Have you forgotten when you said that to me? Have you forgotten it? Francis, I know that I used to be a playboy. But I've changed. Ever since I set my eyes on your sister, everything has changed. You want to sleep with my sister and dump her. What? But I will never allow you to do that. Be careful with me. Be very careful with me. interested in me. That guy has pride. Listen. It's his loss. You are very pretty. I mean, no man will reject you. So don't let that bother you, okay? He's bothering me already. He couldn't even allow me to talk to him. Sorry about this. It's okay. It's okay. So what do you do with women? Look, babe. I can explain. I ask a question and I need an answer. What do you want to know? Hmm? Your brother is saying all those things to you because he doesn't want us to be together. Can't you see? You are right. But it is with a good reason. And that reason is what you do with women. See, babe, don't get it twisted, huh? I love you, and that's all that matters, please. No, he doesn't. Until you tell me what you do with women, I will have nothing to do with you. Have your ring. It is over between us. What kind of trouble is this, huh? Who are you taking all those things to? Hmm? Uh, we, we brought them to you. You brought them to you? Yes, sir. Why? Uh, hmm. uh, sir Obion, hmm. we, we felt that we need them. That's why we brought it. Yes, sir. Oh. And uh, uh, I can cut it into pieces. If, if there's any other thing you need, do not hesitate to call us. Why? Uh, we suppose by name. We do it. We suppose. Sharp, sharp. Okay, thank you. But take it back. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Salve please. Biko, please. You see this gift that you're seeing? This from an Anobi are you, Biko. He said our heart. I said I don't need them! Huh? Hey! Yes, sir!
I love you. I, I love you more. I have accepted you and nothing will stop me from loving you. Same here, dear, same here. So where are you? I am still in the city in my brother's house. Okay, do you want me to come around? It will not be safe for us to meet here. Maybe um, um, somewhere in the city, much later. Okay, okay, this is what we're going to do now. When you're less busy, you call me, okay? So I will just come straight there and pick you up. How? Oh, okay. All right, take care. Thank you. What's the problem? It's your friend. I've been trying to wake him up. He's not responding. Why? I don't know. He's not just responding. Okay, okay. Let's relax, no? I'm coming straight to the house right now. Yeah, I'm already on my way coming now. Okay, okay. What did he say? He said he's on his way to the house. Okay. Um, <laughs> honey, 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 please don't do this to me. Are you sure? Should we come here? I'm sorry I kept you good with it. No! You came at the right time. Okay, so why did you demand it? Our lives are in danger. And it's only you can help us. No. How? Uh, Obiora's father's spirit decided that we will not have peace in this kingdom. He decided that he would, just, he would disturb us until sleep disappeared from our eyes. You need to help us. And if nothing is done to stop you, we may take our lives. Sure. Oh, no. Sure. How is that my business? Hey, hey Amaka. We all know that we are very close to you. Mm -hmm. It's not good now. Stand, stand, stand. See, the point says, uh, I, I don't understand what you put us in. The truth of the matter is that you are our last card. Last hope. You are our last hope. If we say no to this request, me, I want myself. Mommy and me, kill myself. No, 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 no please. Talk yourself. Okay, fine. Hey. I'll talk to you. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Thank you. 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 Have I not been a good son to you? Yeah. Have I not been an obedient child all the way? Have you asked me of what happened to you? We slept here last night and this morning is not waking up. What do you mean we slept here last night? Don't worry. I will explain to you later. Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. Let's Thank just take him to the hospital, okay? I met Linda on Easter a few years ago. 
No. So what did he tell you this time? They said your father had broken their lives and they are for them. How? I don't understand. I don't know. They also say that your father threatened to kill them. How is that possible? I don't know. But they think you're the only one that can pacify the angry spirit of your father. But how am I going to do that? I don't know. You have to help them. You have to. What? Wait, how? There must be a way. Okay, maybe you should, you should talk to your uncle. He may suggest the way forward. God forbid! Um, Doctor, how is he doing? Please, come with me. He's hiding something from us. Yes, you're right. Maybe he's dead. God forbid! Stop sounding like that. Let's wait and hear from the doctor first. Hmm? Honey? 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 Uncle, I actually came to see you. I hope all is well. Not at all. Since the death of my father, my life has never been the same. How do you mean? After the death of my father and Beria, he appeared to us. Francis, your brother, told me about it. After his appearance, I do things differently. My life has never been the same. Sometimes I see myself where I've never been before. When I'm angry, people tremble at the roar of my voice. This is not me, and I don't want to continue like this. Mm. I'm really confused. I understand your story. There is a place I will take you to. And all this thing will be a thing of past. You know where you will take me to? <sighs> I've never seen this kind of thing before. So what, what can you do for him? His condition defies every medical approach I used on him. Hey, so doctor, what can be done? What can we do? Okay, uh, I will conduct another series of tests. And after that, I can be able to give you medical advice. Okay, doctor, please. Please, I want you to do whatever it takes to restore his health, please. I will, but I want you to know that we kill. But God heals. Excuse me. So, what did he say? He said he would take me somewhere. Ooh, that is good. But I am worried. About what? About where he will take me to. Oh, bro. Where he's taking you to shouldn't bother you. What matters now is you're going to find a solution to it. In as much as we want to find a solution to my problem, we should not enslave my life to bondage. Not too happy to you. And something like that will never happen. Hmm? Let's go. Let's go. Hmm? Let's go. Even if you cry from now till tomorrow, 
it will not change anything. What my brother needs now is prayers. <laughs> Can if anything happens to your brother? <laughs> Nobody will say a thing like that. I am a witness to everything that has happened. I don't understand how village people think. Relax. <laughs> Just know that nothing will ever happen to my brother. Amen. 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 <laughs> Did you hear from Mama? I speak with her every day. Okay. Did you tell her what happened? No, but I intend to tell her. No, no, no. Not yet. Why? I don't want her to know yet. Because I'm not sure she'll be able to handle it. And it may rise her blood pressure. That's true. That's true. You're right. For more indications, I don't think the doctor can help your brother. Why do you say that? Because he sounded like someone whose idea has, has been lost. So what do you suggest? I think we should take him to another hospital. If you ask me, I would say let us wait until the test result he said he will conduct on him is out. Babe, your brother needs urgent help. Okay. Maybe I should go to the village and inform my uncle. Wow, that's a strong one there. Yeah, you have a point. Okay, yeah, just go to the village and inform your people about the health condition of your brother, Francis. Okay? So when do you think it will be appropriate? ASAP, babe, ASAP. As soon as possible because we don't have time. Huh? Okay. What do you seek in my shrine? Uh, it's a mom. The spirit of Unanna wouldn't allow him to have peace of mind. Secondly, the spirit is asking for a roof over his head. I thought this day would never come. Uh, what do you mean by that, great one? Yes, we will find out. The spirit of his dead father is living in him. Me? I thought as much. And if nothing is done to appease the angry and restless spirit, it will lead him to destroy lives around him. How? But we don't understand. Have I not been a good son to you? Have I not been an obedient? Try all the way. Have you asked me of anything that I denied you? Have I not been a faithful son all the way? What more can I compare? Why are you only tormenting me? Francis built a house for his in-laws in their village, while his father does not have a house here in our village. A uh, great one. Uh, there could be a mix-up somewhere. My brother Nana has a house in this village. The house you thought that is his house. It's not his, but his brother's. How? Yes, how? Okuka, I am still thinking how we can raise that kind of money within seven days. Hi. No. 
I don't believe this is possible. I am not seeing any possibility at all. This is this is out of it. I don't think this is possible. Honestly, it seemed that way. Or maybe I should sell my own portion of the land. That way we can be able to raise the money faster. Eh? Yes. You could, no, 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 don't say that. Uh, what are you saying? Have you forgotten you are the first son? You are the one that is supposed to build a house for Papa and Mama where they will live at, the, at their own age. How can you be talking about selling your land? Okay. Nah, we could leave this one, I beg. This okay. one didn't work. Uga, you are right. But don't forget that I can still make another money to buy another land for myself in the future. <sighs> nah, nah. I, I, I don't support this one at all. Okay, let's assume you want to sell the land. Where do you think you'll find a buyer? Mm -hmm. Now that you have agreed, I already have a buyer. I contacted the buyer yesterday. I have a buyer. I have my plans. No, no. No, no. I am not comfortable with this. This whole plan. Uh, what is going on? I don't... I, I am not... I, I, no, 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 no. I understand. But Papa's condition is paramount. And we should, we should be willing to do anything to make him okay again. As for the house, we can build on your own land. All of us will live there together for the meantime. Eh? Let's make sure that man is okay first. Mm. That's what we should do. Finally, he sold his land. Why his brother built a house, which happened to be the house he lived till he, he died. One day, he came back and met his brother dead. That the house does not belong to your father. But his brother does not have children. So the house automatically belongs to his father. There you got it wrong. He has a son. That is not too great one. Okuka's wife was barren all the days of her life. There are many hidden things about Joseph's family. And the unknown son of Okuka is one of them. No matter how we try to conceal a secret, one day it will come to the full glare of the public. Pregnant for you. Eh? For who? What kind of question is that? For you, of course. Yeah. No kwa. All bule bule guaja lobi. I am not cut out for this. What kind of rubbish is that? Now listen. I am sure you are aware that I'm married, Abi. I'm sure you are aware that I'm married. Because if you know the rightful owner of this pregnancy, please and please take it to the person. Do not involve me. So you think this is a joke, right? The baby is for you. Are you not so if you're not joking, what are you doing? See, do not don't mention my name. See, if you deny this pregnancy, I will gladly go to your wife and tell her that you and I have been having secret affairs. You're not there! Ah, uh, try me. And I will show you the other side of me. Try me. Yeah, look at matches. Look at this girl. 
You want to destroy my marriage, Abi? I swear I will kill you this village. Pierre? Pregnancy. Hey. This girl is a witch. Okuka, this one you dragged me into the bush here. What is it that we cannot discuss at all? Okay, for? No, no. The walls, they say, have ears. That is why we are here. And you look so tensed. What is the problem? Mr. Bodhi, very big problem. I can tell. Just tell me already, what is the problem? What is it? Oloma is pregnant. What? How? When? Maram, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a long story. And all I need now is some words of advice. Now, it's me you go now. Hmm. Okay. I will give you some advice. There's only one way out of this. And that way is for you to make her your wife. Mm. Huh? Since your wife does not have any children for you, make her your second wife. No, mm. I won't. I will not marry her. I hate polygamy. I will not. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what do you intend to do now? See, uh, what I want to do is, I want to give her some herbs. So she will drink it and flush out this whole thing. Chiaqua, Okuka, count me out of that one. I still maintain your best bait out of this is for you to marry her. Just make her your second no, wife. No, Simple. No, 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 it will not happen. I can't marry her. Uh, what are you saying? I should kill my wife or I should throw... But when you were doing it, did you not know? Nah, nah. Anybody can make a mistake. Yeah, but who, who can I whine? Pregnancy is not a mistake. What are you saying? I will not marry that girl. I won't marry her. Huh? The best way out is for you to get married to her. No. Why did you ask me to come here? I'm very sorry for trying to deny the pregnancy. That was so foolish of me. Hmm? Pico, please, I'm, I'm really very sorry, please. Pico, no. Hmm? So what's the plan? See, my plan is to make you my second wife. Or, or better still, I, I can chase away my wife while you come in and live with me as my wife. Okay, but no need of sending her away. Just take me as your second wife. What a clues. Eh? Mm. Wait, you mean you don't have a problem with we all living together as family? No, I'm okay with it. Hey, you see why I say you're a good woman? You're a sweet woman. Hi, come on, come on, hug me. Come here. Hi, you're a good woman. Hi, you're a good woman. Thank you very much. Hi. <laughs> See why I like you. Try. Ah! Oh! Okuka, he thought that Oloma was dead. But she managed to survive it somehow and ran far away from this village with the pregnancy very intact, which she later delivered the child. So what do we do now? Francis must come back to this village and build a house for his father which he would have done before the burial of his father. I don't think it is late for now. 
is not if he starts the process immediately. But any further delay will lead to the death of all the members of the family, including you, that now know what he must do. Well, he will build a house for his father. That is not negotiable. What about Obiora? The spirit of his father will continue living in him until the house is being completed. Then it will leave and Obiora will live his normal life. Uh, thank you, great one, for this revelation. He's a restless soul. He's a restless soul. He's roaming all around, making demands so He's a restless soul. He's a restless soul. He's a restless spirit. He's roaming all around, making demands. And he's a restless soul, a spirit full of agony. With such a heavy heart, he is roaming all around, making demands. Okay, demanding for a roof above his head, and someone's gonna do something before he's late. Cause he is roaming all around. Making demands, yes. Yeah. He's, so He's so restless, so restless, so. He's so restless, so yeah. Restless, so. He's roaming all around, making demands, oh yeah. He's so restless, so. He's so restless, so yeah. Restless, so. He's a restless, so. Restless, He is roaming. Making the man so yeah. Oh, he's a restless soul. He's a restless soul. He's roaming all around. Making the man so yeah. He's a restless soul. Yeah. He's a restless spirit. Where did he go to? Okay, let me go and see Uncle first. We are almost getting close to solving the problem. All you have to do is to call Francis and uh, tell him to come back home. You know he's very stubborn. Will he listen to you? If he refuses to listen to you, then let me know about it. Okay, sir. Thank you for everything, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know you are my son. I will do anything for you in as much as it's not a bad thing. Thank you once more <laughs> for everything. I'll have to go home now. All right. 
Keep me posted when you make the call. Okay, I will. My regards to her. She will hear. <laughs> Have I not been an obedient child all the way? Have you asked me of anything that I denied you? Have I not been a faithful son all the way? What more can Why are you only tormenting me, Papa? Why are you only tormenting me? Oh, Papa. Hey, I will do anything just to make you happy. Only rest in peace. Oh, tell me what you want. And I can go and learn just to make you happy. Tell me what you want, oh, I hope oh, Uncle, good afternoon. Clara, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. I went to your house, but you weren't at home. Uh, I went out. I was just coming back. Okay. Yes. Uncle, there is a problem. Uh, what problem is that? Uncle, Francis has been in the hospital since yesterday. Uh, what happened to him? Nothing. He slept with his wife and woke up unconscious the next morning. This is serious. You know what? Make arrangement for him to be brought back to this village. Immediately. Immediately. Bikokwa. Hi! Good afternoon. Obiara, how are you? I am fine. Auntie, please, can I speak with my brother? No. That won't be possible now. Why? Clara will explain to you. The message I have for him is a matter of life or death. You can't speak with your brother now. Don't worry. <laughs> please. please. Hello? Hello, Auntie, can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> what does she mean I can't speak with my brother? Have I not been a good son to you? Have I not been an obedient child all the way? Have you asked me of anything that I denied you? Have I not been a faithful son all the way? What more can I Why are you only tormenting me, Papa? Why are you only tormenting me? Oh, Papa. Hey, I will do anything just to make you happy. Only rest in peace. Oh, tell me what you want. And I can go and learn just to make you happy. Tell me what you want, oh I, oh Papa. Have I not been a good son to you? Yeah. Have I not been an obedient child all the way? 
Have you asked me of anything that I denied you? Have I not been a faithful son all the way? What more can I come there? Why are you only tormenting me, Papa? What more can I get you wrong? Why are you only tormenting me, oh Papa? Hey, I will do anything just to make you happy. Only rest in peace, oh, tell me. Obia, where are you? This year, ta, shut up. You are not in this house. Yes. Your own lies. You can lie. is for you to give me a chance in your life. <laughs> See, um, Rose. Rose, this is absurd. Huh? I should be the one wooing you and not the other way around. Well, I grew up in the western part of the world where everyone goes for what he or she wants. And that is what I'm doing. <laughs> really? <laughs> My dear, this is Africa. So you have to behave like an African. Huh? Not now. Maybe some other time. The most important thing now is I've made my intentions clear. I am not interested. Why? Am I not attractive enough? I didn't say that. So, what are your reasons? Rose, I am in love with someone else. Okay? So if you don't mind, excuse me. Wait, are you going to leave me here? Chris! How did it go? We are close to finding a lasting solution to the problem. Hmm. Lovely. So tell me, how did it go? Don't worry. When we get home, I'm going to tell you. Okay, but I believe it was not as bad as we thought. Not at all. <laughs> Don't worry, man. He's a man of his words. He will certainly come. If it's going to be difficult for him to come, let's just take him to his shrine. I mean, we have legs. We can take him there. I know. I am only acting on his instructions. He's here. Hmm. 
Pwede mo kang heroin dala to, tiyong giga. Tanado ang kaba, tanado ang haya. Kaya gisi yan, huwag dala yung karata. Hmm? Wata, pura, 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 di ka magbasok ko. Hindi di ka na ito, ala, di ba yun po? Maka norugo ka na yun. Hmm. Horwe ka na yun. Horwe ka na yun. Mbadi katu guavia, mbadi katu guavia. Oje for mau kele mau na menugo, ukora bia for mau kele mau na menugo. Akadi. Oje se kabri kabri aga megin. Eji mau po eji mogu, apa nogu kanji. Makone jo faga la. Eja la wija. Kele mau nama nugu. My son is alive. Brother, 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 brother Francis. Mama, give him the message. Also, tell him how urgent the message is. Do that. Thank you, brother. Hey, mama. Can you not be far away from my cousin? Come with me. Mama. Thank you, God. Hey, sit down, Thank God. It's okay, just hold him closer. <laughs> hold him close. Uh, that is why your father was angry. Okay, if I had known, I would have started the job before now. But I I don't know. The, the, the first time the message came, it wasn't really clear to me. And now that you know what he wants. Please stand up. Now that I know, in six months' time, a two-story building is going to stand here. I will be glad to see that happen. And I will not stop at that. I am going to renovate your house. You will do that for me? <laughs> I will renovate your house. Then get a car for you to go with it. Oh, I can say today is the best day of my life. Invariably, <laughs> I should be the one saying that. <laughs> I'm over here. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Um, uh, walk again, again. Just listen. Listen. Get a pen and paper. Let me call it for you. Just get a pen and paper so you won't make any mistakes. Okay. I want uh, 12 trips of sand. 12 trips of uh, gravel. My friend, cool down. Forget that price you're, man, you're talking. Leave that thing. Just send me your account number. Let me wire the money into your account straight. Uh, hey, another thing, I want 200 bags of cement. Send me your account number now. Okay. Thank you. Chris, brother, my sister told me the effort we put when I was down, trying to get back to my feet. What are friends for? I know you would do the same for me if I were to be in your shoes. Yeah. You know, I, I don't have money to give you because you're rich already. But I'll give to you what you seek. Okay? I've watched you closely and noticed that you're truly in love with my sister. So, I cannot uh, stop you from marrying her. 
I will give you my consent to go ahead. Clara, give me a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, take care of her very well, please. Take care of her for me. I will. Please. Mm -hmm. I give you my word, I will. <laughs> What's going on? I, I didn't see a case, but it's okay. Both of you should come here. I mean, you, know, you will beg your brother to teach you how to love. Eh? <laughs> Chris. Hello. Clara. You make a wonderful pair. <laughs> I bless you both. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 <laughs> you can now get up. No more. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Thank you. My new son in law. Mama. <laughs> okay. no. Look at this. No. Get up and go. <laughs> the next one will be you. I can't wait for you to find your wife. Uh, Come on, now. Big brother. <laughs> 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 